Okay, so hear me out. Imagine a game priced at £1.60. I know, it's incredible. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, you can all go home now. Recently, I found Retrowave on Steam as I've been playing indie racing games on stream. Retrowave is an 80s arcade cabinet style game where you drive over infinite distances, avoiding cars and trying to get a high score. Pretty basic, and while the visuals are immaculate, it's a pretty standard 80s type game. However, there's much more to it. First, let's start with the game modes. These modes are the obvious one and two way modes, time attack, and speed bomb. While the one and two way game modes offer nothing but aiming for a high score, time attack only gives you 100 seconds to race. On top of that, in Speed Bomb, you drive a lorry cab with a bomb that depletes whenever you drive under 70 km an hour or hit a car. It is exceptionally easy to flip and can be extremely frustrating. Now, another step to these game modes are the difficulties. Each game mode has the four same difficulties. Peaceful, which is just zero cars, zero obstacles, and allows the player a chance to enjoy the visuals and cars as you drive along beautifully scenic roads. Easy. Yeah, you know, there's a few cars here and there that pose as obstacles, but it's not much of a threat. Normal can be difficult, but is the best way to start playing. And hard, well this is the difficulty best for racking up near-miss points and poses the biggest challenge, yet the most fun, as you weave in between cars and try not to end up on the nearest ambulance to Vaporwave Hospital. Wherever the hell that would be. Okay, so surely for a game that I bought on half price at 80p, that's all? Sadly, no. Well, not so sadly, but no. All the same. Not only is there a range of over 20 cars to drive, including the DeLorean, a Toyota AE86, the Cybertruck, and two fucking moon cars, but each vehicle has purchasable upgrades such as engine, braking, and handling upgrades, blues and twos coupled with sirens if that's your sort of thing, nitrous, and even turbo. On top of that, you have a series of colours and wheels to purchase to mix and match however you'd like. And it still doesn't end there. It could have, but it didn't. You have the nearly useless options to toggle your indicators on or off, switch on your lights, turn off your engines, skip the current music track, honk your horn, and even your hazards. But it's the fact that they are useless which makes them so heartfelt and sincere. The one very useful and equally cool hotkey is C. This allows you to fucking change the camera from top down to third person, and even first person. Like, what the actual fuck? When I started playing this game, I had mentioned how amazing that would be, and while stupidly mashing keys, I found the joy that this game can show. It was such a euphoric feeling realizing that, you know, this simple ass arcade game, which was getting already kind of boring, just unleashed this whole new perspective which just completely changed the game from half an hour to four hours. And I'm still not done with it. While this has been a short review, I kind of enjoy them when they're more like that, because I get to cram in a lot of useful details in short time. But the last point I have are the immaculate quote-unquote vibes of this game. I honestly felt more relaxed than I have done so in longer than I can remember while playing this game. Watching this looming moon in the distance of Space Trip 2 as you listen to the vaporwave hits that bring you back to a time you may not have ever experienced before. It was calming, fun, a joy to experience, and honestly I wouldn't have traded that night for the world. This game is probably one of my favourites i found this year, and I only played it for about 3 hours. Well worth the price tag, and I mean well worth. If you've ever considered picking up a game like this, Please, try Vaporwave, because you will not be let down. I can promise you that much. And if you are let down, don't at me. <laughs> but we come to the close of another review. Uh, there has been a pretty big break on YouTube that I've had, just doing a few shorts from the streams and stuff. Yeah, I, I prefer doing Twitch rather than YouTube recently, but I'm planning on coming back, slowly but surely. Indie games are definitely becoming a more prominent feature in my life, so I'll, I will be hopefully doing reviews on those. So thank you everybody so much for watching, I hope you have a good evening, morning, afternoon, evening, good night, you know, what I say on the stream. <laughs> thank you everybody so much for watching, I hope you did enjoy it, I hope this was enlightening and I hope you enjoyed it. I said enjoyed way too much.
I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night, everyone.